Today's another amazing day because we are going to talk about gimbal stabilizers, the best gimbal stabilizer for the Canon T7i. I've received a lot of questions about gimbals and especially when it comes to the T7i, which gimbal should you buy? So I'm going to take you through gimbals, a bunch of gimbals, and I'm going to show you how ridiculous some of these are and how perfect some of these are and maybe through all that you will decide which one's good for you. I went on lensrentals.com and I rented the DJI Ronin S. Why? Because you should try it before you buy it. Make sure you guys click the link below to save some money on lensrentals.com so you can try out your future gear before it is your future gear. So first things first, there are a lot of levels, a lot of different kinds of gimbals out there and it is a very difficult decision, especially when you're deciding for a camera like the T7i. Why is it a difficult decision? Because the T7i is a fantastic camera, it's an amazing camera, but it's probably not gonna be your forever camera. So today, some of the gimbals we're gonna review with this Canon T7i, the Ronin S, the Zion Crane V2, and the Zion Crane 2. But first, let's start with the big dog. Let's start with the biggest dog of them all and get as ridiculous as possible right in the beginning. When I mean ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. Yes, this big bad boy is the amazing original Ronin. I've owned this Ronin, I've owned the Ronin M, and I would much rather prefer this. Can you still find this thing somewhere? Probably used, but it's a fantastic gimbal. I haven't changed the new Ronin 2 because there's no need for me because I barely use this thing, but is it amazing? Oh, it sure is. The question is, is it necessary? Woo! The one thing's for certain, if you're gonna be using this gimbal, you probably need to start working out. Some amazing things about having this gimbal for the T7i is that you can put anything on it and, and you will never outlast this thing. The Ronin is capable of holding 7.26 kilos or 16 pounds. You could carry a baby with it. No matter what, for the Canon T7i, I feel that this is way overkill. This or something like it, at least. Right now, I have the Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter lens on this and it is a fantastic lens. It is only 1.2 pounds. The camera itself is about 1.2 2 pounds as well. For all those math whizzes out there, 2.4 pounds is really not a need for something that could carry 16 pounds. Regardless, say you want to put a bigger lens on it like the 24 to 70 Tokina, which is massively heavy. This thing is actually heavier than the Canon L lens 24 to 105. It is a big honking lens. Still not necessary. If you wanted to mount a shotgun mic on top of this, could you? No. You can't. The main point I would say with this camera and this gimbal put together is you always want to buy maybe one level ahead of where you need right now, but not two, three, four, five levels. This is maybe six levels ahead. This is something that is just 10 years down the road or maybe something you will never arrive to. More of a story, something like this is overkill. Not necessary for the Canon T7i. Next gimbal. Now to review the Ronin S with the Canon T7i. Is it a good gimbal for this camera? Yes, it's amazing. It's amazing for a lot of cameras because it's a great, great gimbal. It is super buttery smooth with this camera right out of the box. It feels amazing. I've held a lot of gimbals in my hands and this thing is next level. One of the things when you're buying gimbals for cameras is when you have a little bit heavier of a camera on or maybe it's not perfectly balanced. In this case, it's perfectly balanced because I did it. But if it's not, you feel the motor struggle. When you have these fast movements back and forth, you'll feel the motor start shaking, which in your footage, you will see that. But my point is with these stronger gimbals, one of the nice things about them is you can kind of suck at balancing. You can even kind of suck at moving. If you're not that smooth, you can actually still get good shots with a gimbal like this and this camera. Because this thing up here is like a feather to the Ronin S. One of the huge advantages of using this gimbal with this camera, really about any camera out there, is that this has a view of the back of the screen where a lot of gimbals are gonna cover that up or make it very difficult to see that LCD screen. So an external monitor with this gimbal and this camera put together is not really necessary, which is good, saves you money. Something else that's really nice with this gimbal is you can make slight adjustments and not have to rebalance it. And what I mean by that is typically with gimbals, especially the ones that are a little bit weaker, you wanna rebalance it every single time. Well, this camera has an amazing LCD screen and if you get that high up shot and you wanna pull out your little LCD screen right here and you wanna look at it, you can do that and not have to rebalance it or worry about getting bad shots. If you want to add a shotgun mic even on top of your T7i, you can with this gimbal because it can carry the weight. Now I'm trying to add this massive 24 to 70 Tokina lens on this gimbal and you know, I'm running into some troubles, but they come with this handy dandy lift kit. This you put underneath the camera so you can lift it up high enough to get that lens over the plate to be able to balance it and, and that's what you have to do. So if you feel like putting this on and then this on and then this on the list, then you can use this big lens on 
on here. Got the plate put in place, now let's see if this thing works. Incredible, I got it on there. It is actually balanced. It is tough, I'm telling you, it is tough to balance this lens because it is so freaking massively huge. If you only knew how, this, this lens is a heavy lens and it is super impressive that this thing can balance it. So if you are crazy and you wanna get a big lens for your T7i, this gimbal can handle it. The next gimbal I'm gonna try out with this T7i is the Zion Crane. Two, can this thing carry this big lens? I know I can carry the wide angle, I know it can carry a microphone, but can it carry this big lens? Now a little cheating system I want to teach you here is this is what I've done with all my gimbals, all my cameras. If it can't do this, for me, it's no good. I use the Manfrotto plate, I think they call it the 323, and I have a mount on all of my gimbals. This way I can go from my tripod to my gimbal to my slider with just a very quick click of a freaking, come on, button. <laughs> All right, I got it balanced. This is the test. Let's see. A oh, freaking amazing. Wow. That's a lot of weight on this gimbal. This gimbal compared to the Ronin S carries just a tiny bit less. They're right in the seven pound range, really. It can carry this very effortlessly. Wow. So yes, it is possible to balance this massive lens on this gimbal. If you have this lens or are thinking about getting this lens, this or the Ronin S would be an Excellent choice for you. The last camera to test with this gimbal is the Zion Crane V2. This gimbal is the most affordable out of all of them, and this gimbal, yes, does work. Now, most of you are gonna be using a kit lens, because that's what you start with. You get a kit lens, then you work your way up. This is a lot more expensive lens. More expensive means heavier, and it still works for it. It would be an excellent choice as well, along with all the other ones, minus the ginormous Ronin. Now you can feel the motors in this. You can feel it kind of saying, hey, can you balance me a little bit better? Can you can you not take it so hard on me? Can you not whip it around so much? You gotta be a little bit more gentle with this gimbal. It's not as tough. When you're buying a gimbal, you always wanna try to get something that's gonna lift a little bit more. This gimbal's capacity is 3.9 pounds. Is that more than enough for this setup? Absolutely. If you wanna add more to this setup, can it handle a larger lens? No. Can it handle a microphone on top? Never. It could handle this and not much more. So if this is what you think you're gonna be for a while with this T7i, maybe get a heavier lens like this 11 to 16 Tokina, then this would be an amazing choice for you. Hope this video helped guide you to the right gimbal, but please don't trust me, verify me. Make sure you go to lensrentals.com, try out some of their gimbals first to see which one is best for you. If you have more questions about gimbals and different cameras, please comment below. Let me know how I can answer your questions. Please ask me before you buy because I've probably owned Owned it, tried it, bought it, returned it, hated it, loved it, or one of those. In the meanwhile, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and we will see you soon.